if you care about income inequality in our society. Congressman David Schweiker, known in Washington as a low key policy wonk, now finds himself the target of an expanding ethics investigation into improper spending of public funds. Allegations that Schweiker's campaign originally said was an accounting error. But on Thursday, the House Ethics Committee issued this statement, making it very clear its members believe this could be more serious than a clerical mistake and announced it will now look at whether Schweiker used congressional resources to benefit his campaign or pressured congressional staff to perform political activity. It is a big deal. It's a very serious allegation. And what people need to understand is this investigation has been going on for quite some time. Republican political consultant Marcus Delartino on the latest twist in this investigation that started six months ago by looking into allegations that Schweiker and his former chief of staff, Oliver Schwab, misused their congressional office budget. This afternoon, a spokesman for the congressman issued a statement regarding the latest accusations that reads in part, we are extremely confident that once that review is concluded, the concerns raised will be determined to be unfounded. Time will only tell, but right now, so far, this is a more serious allegation than we've been initially told. Since May, one month before the launch of its initial investigation, Schweikert's campaign has spent over $326,000, or 20% of all the money the campaign spent, on legal fees. This includes more than $40,000 on legal counseling for Schwab, who resigned from Schweiker's office back in July. Yeah, absolutely, it's unusual. That's a significant amount of money to be paying attorneys. It tells you right up front that these allegations are serious. And regarding those high legal fees, Schweiker's uh, spokesman for Schweiker's campaign tells me that they wanted to pay the legal costs for any member of Schweiker's staff who was interviewed as part of this investigation. Dennis, for months the congressman's been t kind of downplaying the allegations, calling it a, a big clerical error or something simple that could be easily explained. But if they interviewed members of his staff and now they're expanding the investigation, that's not a good sign. It, for it does. It's not a good sign. And the fact that they spent so much money on this and they still expanded the investigation is not a good sign. And in fact, you're right when he's tried to downplay this or at least keep this quiet. It didn't affect him much in his right. campaign. He was easily reelected again um, to, I believe, a fourth term. Okay. Answers coming next year. 20%, though. That's, that's a, a significant of, yeah. amount. Okay. Thank you.